What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Discard Inform Beasts. This week we had quite a few Discard Informs in the team of the week. There was a lot of 50 to 30k players as well. Now we do include those in this series. However, those are a bit iffy because Quintrown's popular for being in the BBVA. And you've got Fellaini who's like non-existent on the market. But these, I've just picked up three guys for discard. I paid 11k for them, but they're now going for 10k each. Uh, they are actually incredible and I've managed to put them all into one team. And I will be bringing a squad builder on that team because I had so much fun using them. Now, let's move into these discard in forms. First of all, as you can tell from the thumbnail of this video, it is actually Inform Olich. Now this guy comes as a, te uh, as a left mid. He goes for 10 to 25k. He's going for discard value 10k because obviously he's a left mid. Who would play in there? You've got Royce. Everyone else is better than him in a left mid spot. He's also only got three star skills, which is a bad thing about him. But change him to left forward as I have right now and put him as a striker, guys. He is an amazing striker. If there's two people up there. He will be absolutely incredible at assisting and he will catch onto those balls and score quite a lot. He, however, stands out as a centre forward. If you can play a centre forward position, he is your man. He's got high attacking work rate, high defensive work rate. He's left foot, but he's got four star weak foot. So that's kind of irrelevant now with the what's his preferred foot. He's played four games for me, scored two goals and got one assist as a striker, solo striker, may I say. And I, I thought he was amazing, but I feel like he would play better in a two man group or in a pair or as a centre forward assisting other players because his passing is actually incredible for 71 passing. Now his on card starts are 81 pace, 83 shot, 71 passing, 78 dribbling and 83 physical. Pretty solid stats, and those physical stats are actually really useful. Now, if we go to his in-game stats that are on the screen right now, you'll see that he's got 85 finishing, 85 shot power, 83 reactions, 83 sprint speed, 87 aggression and aggression, aggression, and 83 positioning. He's also got 78 strength. The only bad thing he's got is long passing, which is true. He can't long pass for crap. And 20 marking, well, that's, the rest is just defending, really. And he's got 78 strength. This guy outmuscles so many players off the ball. You're going to see it in a highlight that I'm going to use for the squad builder because I'm definitely making a squad builder on this team because I had so much fun using them. He was absolutely amazing. And for 10k, definitely pick him up and try him out as a striker or as a centre forward. So you're going to change him to a left there. For, you probably pick him up for a left there for like about an extra 2k. So definitely go try him out because he's actually incredible. Uh, for our next player, we actually have another player from the Bundesliga who is Janosovic. Probably murdered that name. But holy crap, this guy is good. He's got 79 pace, 71 shots, 79 passing, 81 dribbling, 75 physical, and 67 defending as well. It's absolutely solid. He's got high attacking work rates, high defensive work rates, and he's got four games for me, one assist, and a goal as well. Guys, this guy's an amazing player. He feels absolutely incredible to play with. He actually feels like a Juan Moutinho, basically. And I liked playing with him a lot. I picked him up for 10k, so he's definitely discard value. But would I play him as a cam? Probably not. There's better options as a cam. And, you know, as a cam, he didn't seem to work well with me. Play him as a centre mid, however. And I feel like he will actually be amazing. He, he runs forward. He's always tracking back. He feels like what Juan Moutinho is in real life, basically. And it's absolutely incredible. His in-game stats now are on the screen. And as you can see, he's got absolutely solid stats in everything. The only thing he has got, has got like red stats in are his heading accuracy. Like, what the hell? And I mean, he's only 5 foot 8, so you don't expect him jumping up in the air for balls anyway. Look at this. And his standout stats are 82 curve, 81 short passing, 94 agility, 93 balance, 96 stamina, and 80 vision. This guy's amazing. He can do body feints like a boss. His 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot again. His passing did feel absolutely incredible. Like, I loved his passing. His passing was amazing. He was completing absolute beautiful passes. And it was just the lovely tick attack of football was perfect for Genesis. So if you're good with that, pick this guy up. If not, you should still try him out because he's an absolute boss to play with. I absolutely loved it. And the worst comes to worst, if you can't sell him off for 10k, you can discard him literally for your money back. He goes for 9.6k. I bought two of him by accident. You, 400 coins, guys. That's, the, that's literally the difference. Definitely pick this guy up because he is absolutely boss. Now, for my favourite, favourite team of the week, discard this week. He's... The only problem with him is that he's in a really, really rubbish league. It is the centre-back, Shah. This guy. This guy is my favourite centre-back in the game. I know that's a good push. But I love this guy. His normal card was absolute boss. His in-form has 79 pace, 
68 shooting, 72 passing, 81 defense, and 86 physical. He's also four star weak for guys. He's got high attacking work rates and high defensive work rates, which is, you know, good and bad depending on how you play. And if he, sometimes he does track a little bit up the field. But this guy was absolutely incredible as a centre back. He played four games with me. I won three, lost one. I'm not even going to go into that one game that I lost. You'll see why I lost it. Yeah, the guy. You know what? I'm, uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to end that there. That game was absolute AIDS, and you're going to see exactly why when I make the squad builder. But this guy is absolutely incredible. Now, if we go to his in-game stats, guys, as you can see, the only thing he hasn't got that he's not good at, should I say, is 56 curve and 50 volleys. Everything else is yellow stat or green. He's got 91 heading accuracy, 85 long passing, 83 penalties, 81 shot power, 83 standing tackle, 87 jumping, 80 sprint speed, 84 stamina, 91 strength, 81 interceptions. This white man has got strength for days. He is absolutely strong. He is, oh my, he's the best centre back I've ever used. He feels so good on that ball. He jumps up for the ball massively. He can out jump so many players for this for the ball in the air. He's so fast with 79 pace. He feels fast though, guys. He actually feels faster than 79. He was tracking back, catching up so many fast players. And for 10k, guys, you definitely, definitely need to pick this guy up. He is one of my favorite center backs. And I know he's hard to get into a team. But if you pay attention on Wednesday, I'm going to release a squad builder. So this Wednesday coming up, which is the 8th. The 8th, I'm going to release a squad builder on this team. And oh my god, guys, I had so much fun with this team. It's an absolutely incredible team. And this guy was the rock of my defense. And there were some other absolutely monsters in that defense line. But this guy stood out. And I am going to try and use this guy as much as I can for 10k, guys. Definitely go try him out. If you can't, or if you don't enjoy him, you know, just discard him. That's it. Just discard him. 9.6k, boom. you got your money back, no matter what. And that's it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and let me know down below what I can do to improve this series and my future videos. And if you're new, please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.